Hey everybody, my name is Jason Brubaker. I run the website jasonbrubaker.com where I specialize in all sorts of digital marketing hacks. I'm actually going to demonstrate a piece of software that I use that I think is essential to getting traffic to my website. It's called Missing Letter and what it does is you set it up so that every time you write a blog post, Missing Letter pulls it into its system and then it allows you to redistribute that blog post into various popular social channels over the next 365 days. So I wanna just give you a quick demo in terms of how this works. We're starting out right now and I'm showing you a schedule of blog articles that I've already pre-written that are gonna go out and be redistributed through the various social channels. So I'm starting on this calendar just to give you an idea of how you can distribute your content and this is all work that I do not have to do manually, which is the best part about this software, is being able to do it once, once and done, and then you move on and you focus on other parts of your business. Um, frankly, they can help you make some money. So I'm gonna go into the dashboard. Uh, as you can see, I have three different uh, blogs that I blogs and websites, and, and even this one is a podcast. These are three different entities online where I produce content. Missing Letter pulls the information in for each one of those entities. I'm gonna choose filmmaking because this is my primary business. And that particular website that Missing Letter is pulling from, you know, I have hundreds of articles that I pull out. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into your dashboard. And in your dashboard, it's going to show you any pending, pending campaigns. So this is stuff that has been pulled into Missing Letter. But before they start distributing it out into the marketplace, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to review the campaign to make sure the way to make sure that I like the way that it looks and feels. So step number one is it's going to give you different hashtags. Uh, it has some intuition. This is cool software because it looks at your content and it pulls some hashtags that might be a good fit. Some of these, by the way, are completely out of left field. So I'm going to remove the ones that don't necessarily pertain to the message that I'm trying to get out there. But at the same time, I'm going to keep some of the ones around that do. Um, and then also I have the ability to go and uh, refine this a little bit. So I'm going to because the article is about filmmaking, I'm going to use filmmaking as a hashtag. And the other cool thing about missing letter is it'll take a look at the hashtag that you put out and it'll give you a rating in terms of its popularity. So that's really intuitive and really awesome and a cool benefit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move to the next page. Now we have our hashtags. And on this page, as you can see, it pulls in your content and it does a few things. It pulls in the feature image and you can also make these little bubbles if you like that to add you know, your own sort of customization to it. One of the things that I like to do is I like to stick to the featured image and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But before I get there, the other piece of efficiency Missing Letter does is it allows you to pull these little snippets here. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to go down through here and look at things that are going to grab people's attention in social media feeds. And this is going to allow you to create some efficiencies and some engagement down the road. So I'm just looking for some of these things that just make sense um, that somebody when they see them in their social feed is going to be like, oh, well, what what are we looking at here? And so I uh, want on to establish a production company. And I'm just going to go ahead and add these here. And what's going to happen is these are going to become, I'm going to get a little bit of a warning here that says, hey, you're about to overwrite that stuff. As you saw, I click on that to say yes. And now the things that are coming up in these little snippets here, these descriptions, are some of the things that I just picked. So let me just do some refining. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, I can go back here and change a few of these things before it goes out. The big thing that I like to change is to make sure that I'm using the featured image. And I'm just looking at these things real quick to make sure that I'm saying the things I want to say. Now, these little bubbles are good every once in a while. Maybe I'll leave that one for now. But for the most part, I like to keep these featured image. So let me go ahead and change this to the featured image. The way I do that is I, I use custom image. I click on that. And then I just click that right there and it brings it right back. So, you know, these are, these are the types of hacks that you can use to really get this going. Same thing here, uh, clicking that back. And so it's really straightforward. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to schedule this. And this is the thing that's really cool. I'm going to show you my calendar again. I know I started on this page, but just to give you some reference, as you can tell, I have a preference to have at least three articles a day that are going to go out and be distributed, and in this case, through LinkedIn and Twitter. Uh, you do have the option to add Facebook as well. Um, but for me, I like to use LinkedIn and Twitter here, and I like to do my Facebook post manually. But that's just me. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over and I'm going to look and see 
where can I start this campaign? And as you can see, the 15th of August is wide open. So I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to choose uh, the 15th of August and I'm going to activate the campaign. And once your campaign is approved and activated, it's going to start scheduling it out and it's going to schedule out over the next 365 days. Now, the only other thing that I want to show you, and this is a preference that I have, uh, I like to go in here and make sure that there's no like real straggler. So as you can see, I wanted to start this on the 15th and I did, but it looks like the first one that's going to go out is on the 18th. So one of the things that I like to do here is I'll go ahead and pull out, you know, extra ones. And this has a really cool drag and drop functionality. So I'm just pulling out the extra ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and push them in to the 16th here. And, and that's what I meant to do, the 16th. It looks like the 15th was filled and I was looking at the number from the left, but I should have been looking at the right. But nonetheless, I think you get the point. So bottom line, what I'll do um, is I'll try to fill these up as far out as I can so that there's at least three articles being distributed every day. And as you can see, when I go back to my dashboard, missing letter is pulled in. I have 92 different campaigns just like this that are waiting for my approval. So the only thing I have to do now is I have to go through each one of these 92s and schedule them out, um, you know, for an entire year of distribution. So again, if you're like me and you like to find some efficiencies, uh, Missing Letter is definitely a cool piece of software that you can use. Like most digital marketers, I have an affiliate link down below. If you click on that, I will be compensated for promoting this, but at the same time, I use this every day and I love promoting the things that have helped save me money. But if you're not into affiliate stuff, just go to missingletter.com and you can sign up for your own account. Hopefully this was helpful for more uh, digital marketing hacks, you know, and all these things that I use to create efficiencies. Revisit jasonbrubaker.com. And once again, it's jasonbrubaker.com. Talk to you again real soon.